What the hell is has that? Come back. I don't even know what character to that Twitch. is. Welcome to bottom tier, everybody. I don't think anybody is in the chat yet, but nope. Okay, yeah, dibs on blue. Oh, sorry, we can have multiples of the same night, I believe. Yeah, yeah. you should be able oh. to. You can play as the dude from Battle Block Theater. Is that who that is? Yeah, he's the one. Of, he's like the one of the characters from Battle Block. Battle I Block was wondering Theater. who that was because I've never played Battle. All right, Block we should Theater. start at the beginning because I don't know where that is. <laughs> uh, go to the, the, go, go to the castle, yeah. <laughs> That's the arena. Yeah, not the arena. That's where you got to oh, kill swans. Okay, well then, uh, we're just gonna start by duking it out. Take that, nerd. I've never played multiplayer Castle uh, Crashers before. I should, I should clarify. You should have let me control because you're yeah, it's kind true. I haven't, of dumb. I haven't done it either. So I, I have no idea what we're doing. We just killing each other? Yeah, yeah no. I guess so. Colt's getting his ass beat. Die, everybody. <laughs> Colt's get that ass beat because he's only level one. I'm level one, too. Oh, yeah. Colton's dead. Yeah, that didn't take long. Take level one powers. Yeah, you guys are durable. Damn. Yeah, they're well, they're super uh, high level. We walked into an ass whooping. They sure it's like a did. Thing hitting me. Oh my god! I just noticed there's a cat on the side. Hi, kitty. There is, and it kills me. There's a humongous cat. Ah! I thought your higher level slick, combos. Aha! Uh -huh, take that. I died somehow. <laughs> Ooh! Damn it! Oh shit! <laughs> no, go away. Damn it! I, I think I think I've been had. Okay, so now we're gonna go to wherever the game go, starts. No, Colton, go go to the left. Left? It's like I want to switch weapons, maybe. Blacksmith. Yeah. Ah. And I'm trying to load the chat up on my tablet. If I go into Sun the barn, in the chat. all of us into the barn thing. Um, probably. Sorry okay. for the video lag. Uh, Eric is in chat. We have... Oh, so terrific. I, it says we have no viewers, but Eric's in chat, so... All right. Is this the... Oh, this is the Hall of Wapenry. Can I just take any of these weapons? I think you have to have them unlocked. I'm not positive. Let's try it. Yeah, I don't think no. I have the lightsaber unlocked. I could not no. take any of them. So I has anyone in the room played uh, Alien Hominid? Uh, also, no. Also by the creators of Castle Crashers? It's actually their first I've, game, I believe. I've heard of it, but I don't think I've played it. It was fun. You should check it out. It's on Newgrounds. It started out as a game on Newgrounds. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about this evening. We certainly are not. We're here to talk about something completely unrelated to castle crashers uh this giant pair of scissors um <laughs> we're here to talk about gala collider um we're talking here to talk about gala 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 chameleon or that's some more such. than enough out of you okay um jason for real though real talk pick a weapon and let's roll i did uh, oh let's go how do we leave oh the other yeah, way, this way right? there you yeah, go, go back there's only way. one exit okay he only has the one mouth here. I crawl back out of it. Okay, so we can't crawl out of the anus. Got it. No, no, no not, not this Can time. Can you guys hear us okay? Wait, so who is which color? I am, I am blue. I'm green. Okay. I'm the orange person. And you are the blacksmith. Wait. Okay. No. So we're here to oh. talk about the amazing, wonderful uh, Gala Collider. Um, yes. Now, I want to ask just because I feel like this is a question everybody probably asks, but I don't know the answer to it, so I'm going to ask it anyway. <laughs> um, because I'm more important than those chumps. Uh, so, <laughs> well I'm done. kidding. Yeah. What, where did the inspiration come from to combine a 4X, as people call it, or a grand strategy game with a, with a card, card game? game. Yeah. Well, obviously, when it comes to a card game these days in a digital marketplace, you're always looking to try and do something new and find something interesting and fresh that people will want to kind of play. Nerd. I mean, there's a lot of existing options where you can play your standard kind of card game, but this was the idea of doing something new and doing something fresh and kind of innovating on a something that's definitely been done before and creating something brand new. Ooh, a little bit of lag. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, happy. A little bit. It's just waiting for players a lot. Yeah. That honestly might be me. My internet <laughs> as Trevor Test 2 is terrible. Yeah. Damn you, Nina. 
Well, what we also should probably do is have you guys introduce yourselves. Yeah, please, for not our ju audience. Not just to the chat, all two of them, but to the people yes. on MMO Huts that will no doubt watch We're this. We're already at seven sure. viewers. Oh, Mazel tov. Welcome, yeah, everybody. I, I'm, uh, I'm Trevor. I'm the game developer for Galacolider. And As I'm Nina. Nina. I am... oh, oh. Jason, I'm Nina, it's... I'm the marketing manager for Neocrux. It's it's one thing to ask somebody to introduce themselves. It's another to ask someone to introduce themselves and then scream over them while they're talking. <laughs> I'm just I'm just I'm taking a cue from you, Colton. Okay. Well, let's Fair. be honest. I'm smashing up monsters and stuff. We got to go all in. You really do. All right. So let's. Uh, so we want to thank you guys for being with us here on Bottom Tier. Absolutely. Now, for those of you who don't know, you can check out. Uh, is the Kickstarter still live for your game? It is yeah. still indeed live, yes. Okay, you can go check out the Kickstarter for Gala Collider. It's a four-time strategy, a grand strategy, kind of like Civilization in those types of things, uh, combined with a card game. And it is turn-based, um, yep, I believe. We take yep. a simultaneous turns. So basically yep. you got people kind of going at the same time. They're doing their moves and running with it. And I think we just went to the same place, didn't we? I think we did. Yeah, this is the next part. This is the, yeah. the item shop. Um, now the if thing... You need <laughs> but I don't, because um, I'm not a wuss. So I, no, damn it! <laughs> not a wuss, but he also can't read or navigate. No, that um, has a lot to do with you, sir. Yeah, play games, it's fine. <laughs> uh, you guys can go check out the Kickstarter if you like anything you hear about the game or you want to learn more. Uh, we encourage you, you to go support. Should. We encourage you to go support and learn more about it, uh, this wonderful game. It's a lot of fun. It genuine. It was genuinely a lot of fun. There was something actually that I was. I had another a follow up question to uh, where did you get the idea to combine card game and, and that, but it escaped me for a it's moment. Very, it, oh no, I was going to say it wasn't so much it. a question as it was a statement, really. Um, okay. I, in the videos I've watched, and I don't know if anyone has ever made this comparison to you before. Maybe maybe it was intentional, but from yep. looking at like the the galaxy map and the 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 board essentially while you're playing. I was very much reminded of in my youth. There was a Star Wars card game. Um, oh, I remember where it. you had like I th all. I the... think I made that comparison in our in our interview. I think I talked. Yeah, about... I, I think you. I think you did actually. I think you brought that up. And uh, I, was, I was very much reminded of that in a good way. In all the good ways, like you had all these planets and branching paths and things you could take and follow and colonize and build shipyards and. It's just, it's a super neat idea. I'm, I'm really excited about it. Um, now, in some of the videos that I watched, there was, uh, I only really saw play from one side of the board. Um, so as far as how the simultaneous uh, turns work, uh, we might need to explain a little bit, maybe to an audience to give them an idea. Yeah, no. of that how would that definitely would work. be a good idea. Um, so do you want to talk us through that real quick on kind of how the, the simultaneous turns play out? Sure. So if you've watched uh, a video of, of the game, you'll see, like, let's say it's usually Seb. You'll see Seb's side, his perspective. And essentially, while he's playing and making his moves, I'm also there making my moves at the same time. And then when both of us hit done, we're then both jumping to the next turn together. Okay, and does, does something happen to display everything Hello, that happened during rain. the turn? Yeah, we have a, a replay system where it shows you kind of quickly what happened. So you'll see the ships all move around, places get colonized, and then it'll kind of advance forward to the next phase. We're going to improve upon it to show, like, the cards and stuff that get used better, but that's improvements for later. Like, we're still kind of obviously working on making the UI look a lot nicer and right, getting the... more, say, user-friendly. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. I understand. Okay. Uh, um, What would you say your inspirations for the game were? Maybe stuff like Master of Orion... Oh, definitely, actually, you hit it right there. Masters of Orion is definitely one that I we would look at and go, like, for sure, fan. Space 4X game, do it. But then you also have, like, your card game elements. And card games is just uh, card games in general. It can be you know, taking a bit from, like, say, a Hearthstone or even a Magic or just seeing what, what yeah, they do and... right and what they do maybe not as right and working from there. Me and Colton played a lot yeah. of Magic. <laughs> so we yeah, are definitely played familiar a with Magic card games. Myself, too. Definitely a fun game. I have a feeling now this, we're is, in like, this like... is Nina's internet. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm so yeah. sorry. I definitely blame Nina. We want to thank everyone <laughs> again for joining us. We, we always blame marketing or PR. That's just the way it is. Yeah, of um, course, right? I know I blamed Scott for everything when we were in uh, Seattle. Oh, jeez. This thing's kind of scary looking. <laughs> 
so I did see a little bit of gameplay for a race that I'm entirely likely going to mispronounce the name of uh, okay. or misremember. It. Um, it was <laughs> Silith, I believe. Uh, yeah, so Silith is the way Silith. to pronounce you were it. Close. Silith is what I originally I originally pronounced it that way, and then I was corrected. That it is Silith. Yeah. <laughs> they it said, shut up, you feel like <laughs> Let me tell you. I got it wrong. It. Let me tell <laughs> you how to. You mispronounce my name. Like, oh, it's Silas. I was like, oh, okay. Let me Silas. tell you how to say this thing you made. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was sort of like that. Yes. Uh, um. <laughs> you know, you have, you have to get the lower right, and so pronunciation good. can be everything. Right. It really can. Uh, it can mean the difference between. Well, I mean, yes. It. Make I'm not gonna make that joke. joke. <laughs> no. Tomato, tomato, friends. Uh, that's not where we. That's not where he was going. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it wasn't, but we're gonna go there. Oh, hey, Wayne's back in chat. What's up, Wayne? What up, Wayne? Um, so very excited about this. Uh, now, what I liked about them, and and maybe it's just because, uh, I like rush down gameplay. Um, was that it seemed like <laughs> a lot of their things, uh, especially in the early game, and maybe it was just a player I saw. So tell me if I'm wrong. But it seemed like a lot of their stuff was very uh, Zerg-like. A lot of cheaper, uh, easy to field but weaker units. Uh, would you there say that's yeah. the option? Would you that. say I've that's fair? Heard that comparison before. I've I've heard that one that they feel more Zerg-like. Um, and I would say the Coalition guys, the human guys, feel a bit more Terran-like in their feel. Because like Cause with, with Coalition, you kind of have like your big dreadnoughts, right? They they yeah. tend to play around the dreadnoughts of the big ships. It's kind of like battle cruisers, you know, having like a battle cruiser army pushing forward. Whereas the Zergs would do more like the Mutalisks, right? The big flying units that you stack up in a way you can stack frigates with Silas to do like a Mutalisk type of thing. So yeah, I definitely see that comparison. Colton, we have a, we actually have a Castle Crash related question. Okay. Oh yeah, we we do. Um, and and I, I love the the cartoony graphics of this game. Well, part it of it fills me with a lot of joy. Part of the reason for the aesthetic, and if you're not familiar with uh, Castle Crash, so I'll give you a little bit of history. The guy slash guys that made Castle Crashers made another game. Yeah, uh, made another game before they did this uh, called Alien Hominid, which yes. started out as a Flash game on Newgrounds. Colton, and get up. I, I am up, you dork. You were pounded <laughs> into the ground. And, like and then spike. they put their size 12s right in Jason's urethra. Um, eh, and, if I had a nickel for every time. And... Uh, but they made Castle, or they made Alien Hominid and its sequel, which both it and its sequel were eventually ported to the GameCube and the PlayStation 2. Um, when they moved on to Castle Crashers, they, they wanted to do something in high def, but they decided to keep the Flash aesthetic while cleaning up some of the, like, the resolution and things like that, uh, and some of the level of detail and shading to fit more with the modern consoles. Um, I personally really like that choice. Uh, I think it has a very uh, unique stylized feel and it's very easily accessible yeah like it, anything can run this like i'm pretty sure i could play this game on my microwave if i wired it correctly <laughs> my um, God, money. getting all the money so that's i mean i'm a huge fan of the aesthetic what do you guys think as as somebody who's yeah, actually the princess as somebody who's actually worked on uh vidger games what do the you winner, guys think? the winner saves the princess Oh, I'm going to win I'm, then. I got to win and save the princess. I, Actually, I, I tell I, you will. To answer your question, Golden. Oh. Uh, Get right, nerd. Wait, are, are we fighting each other now? I'm confused. What's happening? Yeah, yes. Whoever wins, oh. the princess. Also, oh, yeah, Wayne, Nightmare, good to have you guys with us. Uh, just so you guys know, if anybody is new in chat, um, we are here with the devs and the PR rep for uh, Gala Collider. Which is obviously, as we've said probably a hundred times, oh. and we'll probably say a hundred more times. We probably will. Is a 4X uh, grand strategy card game uh, that will be. Princess is mine, nerds. That will be available on ah. PC, oh. Mac, and mobile. Are you guys doing a mobile release of the game? I didn't find uh, that information. Yeah. iPad initially, and then I think. No! No, it's so unfair! You leveled up during the fight. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> 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 we want that is to incredibly do incredibly unfair. Uh, Android, but Android's a lot harder to do just because there's so many different screen resolutions, and you have to test for every single one of those. Oh, I have to go to you. I forgot that. I'm so mad about that. That was my victory. <laughs> hey, go, Nina. Good job. Be salty <laughs> forever, Jason. I I will be. You don't oh, understand. Salty. That's his mo already. It really is. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but yeah, we, we are looking to do eventually have like mobile and Android support and all that. They're uh, basically their stretch goals that will kind of hit as we get further along. It's more funny you say that. Funny we get further Eric, we shoot forward. Eric just said that in chat. Actually, it's really funny that you said that. <laughs> he and mm, boy, coding for those resolutions. This is PC gameplay for Castle Crashers, not for Gala Collider, we're, obviously. We're talking about Gala Collider. And if any of you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them. Yeah, absolutely. And we will we will make give them no choice but to answer them. We wanted to yeah. to, to take people who have a cool thing they want to talk about and make them do something completely oh, unrelated. Do we don't have all the items. Yeah, we yeah. wanted to make them do something completely unrelated while they talk about the cool thing they want yes. to talk about. We um, got, that's probably too far. So that's why we're playing Castle Crashers and not... And because Castle Crashers is fun. It is. We were it talking about in our interview... Oh my god! Oh my god! I want the thing! I'm the getting thing. the thing! It's oh, mine! No. You already stole my princess! You I want to care. steal my mount too? Yeah. You want to steal both of my mounts? Do I like, have to manually not, level up or will it automatically do it? It'll, it'll, it, it'll it give it you a prompt. You. It gives you a prompt like what they did at the end of that stage. Yeah, it'll let you spend your stat points at the end. Give me the mount, it's mine. You can't have it. Final thingy. Yeah, Castle Crashers is super oh, fun, oh, and if you don't, got it. if you don't have this game, you need to have it. But you need to have. You also game. need to go check out the Kickstarter for uh, Gala Collider. Gala Collider, yes, please go check that Kickstarter you absolutely out. Absolutely should. Us some, it's a lot give us some fun. love and support. Where and you can learn how to play, you can give them your hard-earned dollars. Uh, they, they definitely could use more of your hard-earned dollars. For uh, oh my God. what's the standard asking uh, donation on your Kickstarter? Well, I mean, honestly, it's is you give as much as you feel feel you want to give. Like, if you want to go way up high, you know, ten thousand, go ahead. <laughs> oh, Who see. are we to hold you back? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> have the dream. You know? So I'm gonna warn you, all of our I think almost all of our followers are pretty broke. But... Yeah. So I just got like two big old bags of money. Let me ask you this. Uh, relevant question um do they pay you to fall asleep as hard at the keyboard at work as you're doing right now at the controller and letting me get all the money <laughs> like that's a i feel like that's a good question to ask Cole, you have 56 <laughs> gold coins i have 467 i don't think you have any room to talk i know i just shit talking is part of my my dynamic that, that is his, that is his, i'm good uh, at it i'm uniquely good at it. it that is definitely his modus operandi I'm just enjoying chomping things on the dino. So we were talking on my interview we did uh, last week, I believe, about like four, six, maybe eight player multiplayer. Oh, That's Jesus. something that would I would I intense. would love to see that. Oh, I absolutely would. I, yeah, that's that, definitely that in the pipeline, having politics. both teams and free-for-all games just to have that some fun with it. It's ridiculous politics. Oh yeah, I mean, car, any any kind of card game in a free for all setting I found in the past is like a blast to play with friends. Because then everyone like you always team up on the guy who's winning, and then like you, it'll be like three on one. And the guy just tries to win. Well, me and Cole get down have to three left. And, Anytime we play a card game, we our general rule is sweep the trash off the field, and then we settle it like gentlemen. Yeah, that's that's, that's well, our str that's our that's how it strategy. works. Yeah. Is that the uh, gentleman's agreement then? Yes. I don't know if you call us gentlemen, but it's definitely an agreement. It's it's an agreement between people. That's certainly a, <laughs> and people so is kind of a word. You know. People is kind of a word I maybe wouldn't throw around so much either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got the meat cleaver. Oh, no, uh, Col and then Colton took my weapon. No, I didn't. Nice weapon. Yeah, you did. Same sword. You... It said uh, DJ Quack Quack had it. But not, but you don't I, have I, it. I agree. It's, it did say that. I think you unlocked it because you picked it up. I still think you stole it. I I know he stole it. That's that's a given. Yeah, well, listen, Jay. We all we all want things, things, and we all have <laughs> needs. So why don't you guys tell us some about some of the victory conditions for? Yes, absolutely. Or Gala Collider. Now, I and not to cut you off, but I know there's victory points as one, right? And yes, yeah, Eric, that is what we mean by settling it like gentlemen. Calling each other names while trying to punch each other in the face. <laughs> yeah, there's three different ways to win a game of Gallic Collider. You can win off uh, stars, which is like victory points. Say you need 50, you get to 50, you win the game. Uh, you can also take over an enemy's homeworld. You take that over by invading it with a ship with the invasion module. 
third way to win is to contest all of an enemy's sectors. Now, contesting a sector means having an attacking ship in the area on all of their sectors. Sounds good. Now, uh, this seems pretty straightforward stuff. Now, we actually had a question from uh, one of our viewers, uh, and that was... Yeah, um, he will patiently wait for his glitchy Android game. Once the game <laughs> is released on Android, if it does get that far, will it only oh, be for tablets, or will some of the larger phones slash phablets be able to run it? Uh, well, you know, honestly, I would say I would look at it and say the sky's the limit. We'll kind of keep going as we keep getting more resources to keep working forward. On, on obviously, it'd be best to be on more platforms and less, but we'll see where it goes. It all depends. I imagine a, a lot, a lot of that will play into what the, the the Kickstarter donations look like and that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean it's all a matter. Now of I fun, have right? an asparagus sprout. Ooh, asparagus, yum! I hate asparagus. That's why I'm slapping okay. people with it. Your asparagus is good for you, though. You know, you give it all to all the enemies, so you're feeding them. <laughs> I am feeding them an ass whooping. That's what I'm feeding them. You're like, here, here, here. Here's some good food for you. Oh, I love this scene. Where so, the bear Keith, shits to answer your question, essentially, yes, eventually, <laughs> if funding is there. What was that, Colton? You going to take all the money? What was that? What was that you were saying? What was <laughs> that? that good shit? What was that, Jason? You were going to take these nuts. <laughs> Got him. Uh, <'em. laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I feel like you should know. You are a gigantic prick sandwich. The seahorse is so cool, though. Seahorse. I only have the little crappy bird, because I forget we're to unlock the other animals. Oh, man. I should have gotten my whale. Don't let him run. Gold the, wh for everyone. the whale is so cool. I feel like this boss fight might be a little racially insensitive. Maybe, it, no, maybe no, it's just it's, me. Uh, it's the hairball. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's also very Diablo 2. The little yeah, uh, that, that, the fetish guys. Like. Yeah. Only this is a really big, depressed fetish. I mean, he's just a poor little guy getting beat on. He doesn't want to be here. You can tell. Well, we are I think we're about to do the uh, the water stage. Yeah. I hate the water stage. Run, little poopy deer. That deer is moving across the stage because it's pooping. And yes, being the Jew and having the most gold is racially insensitive. But it's a fact, so deal with it, chumps. Jew gold, son, recognize. Well, now that we've alienated our fan base... <laughs> it's if, the time we haven't, if we haven't done it by now is it time already for next time on bottom tier oh no. yeah we got mounts it's i don't think we do that on the show colton what we don't say next time on bottom tier on the show <laughs> yeah we do we say it at the end of every stream no we don't you Sounds have like no proof of that checking now check the tapes yeah, factcheck.org <laughs> I would like to see us on fact check. That'd be awesome. Are you kidding me? My girlfriend's dad tried to tell her factcheck.org was unreliable. <laughs> I'll let that sink, sink in. in. I hope she doesn't crucify me for saying that on stream. If I if I die, remember me as I was. Should we use uh if we if we use a stamp, should we use uh Finn Fulton? Yeah, use oh, no leg. Ah. The lag was so bad, I jumped through the wall without taking damage. <laughs> yeah, I was not lucky. I did take damage. Oh, crap, baskets. I made it through the door, and I still took damage. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, oh, just fuck my life, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Almost lost Quack Quack. Uh, yeah, no, Quack Quack is down. Ha ha. Get right, right, your, your animal companion is still up. Ugh. Yeah, this this stage of the water stage infuriate me, but the pooping deer is kind of funny. So, what's your favorite part of Gala Collider that you've developed? Like, do you have a favorite idea, or concept, or race, or character card maybe that you've come up with? What in the development My cycle favorite... has stood out to you the most? 
honestly, you know, if I had to say like what I like the most about Galaga Collider, it would be the uh, the tech pool that's in game. It basically serves as a kind of like sideboard that you're in the middle of the game to enhance and alter your deck. So say you buy like a powerful tech three dreadnought from your your tech pool, it then goes into your discard pile, and then when you shuffle your deck, you now have this really powerful ship to kind of win the game with. That's and a I like very it because cool it lets you alter your strategy as you go. So let's say you have a, a read on an opponent that, you know, oh, they're really still up heavy. They're building a lot of, like, little dinky ships. So I'm just going to have one really big ship I buy from my tech pool that counters the hell out of these dinky ships. It's like a fun little way to play. Yeah, it sounds good. Um, what has been the hardest part of working on the game? Also, uh, Colton, we have a question from Eric after that. All right, yeah. Um, the hardest me... part? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, always if, if you're doing uh... the development moves. I was just trying to balance everything out and get everything right. The process that takes a lot of time and effort, you know, to try and balance everything fair and fun and enjoyable and diverse enough. Oh, did uh, we lose something? I heard a bad sound. I, I, I heard did it too. Oh, no. I did too. Yeah, I think, I think we dropped. No. A crash has been detected and a mini dump has been sent. Who, who, who ah. crashed? I have no idea. It might be me. It's not. Yeah, okay. It's I'm not me. It was you're... me. Yeah, I think. I think. Uh, our video journalist has crashed. No. All right. Well, I'm, I'm logging back in. Uh, question for the devs from Eric: Have you looked at Elite Dangerous and its gameplay and mechanics for inspiration? Oh, Elite Dangerous. No, I, I don't. So let me see. Quickly. I'm gonna re invite everyone. All you guys. All you guys feel <laughs> this. Um, to my knowledge, and since Sebastian is the lead designer, I can't really answer this question really probably fully, but as Gala Collider was developing, no, not really. Um, of course, we knew about it. A lot of the team members knew about it, but it hasn't been something we've looked at too closely just because it's not very much a strategy game. At least the very little that I've looked at it, I've actually haven't played it. It looks really fun, though. I'm actually looking at it right now. It looks cool. Yeah, Eric has a gigantic boner for Elite Dangerous. Did okay, you guys so get the invite? I had a, I did, I had a question um, yep. because you 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 mentioned one of my favorite words when it comes to online gaming, especially yep. uh, when when you're talking about uh, strategy, turn-based card games, any kind of things like that, um, which is one of the hardest parts, in my opinion, from a non-development standpoint to get right is balance. Um, what kind of measures have you taken or are you plan on, planning on taking in the future to ensure that the balance of the game remains fair but still fun? Well, naturally, we, we have a digital card game on our hands. So let's say a card was completely bonkers broken and was like wrecking the game. We could always, you know, change it if we needed to. That's more of a last case scenario, but it, it could happen. But in, also we can just develop and design new cards. Reinviting that kind of come in and, and change around the game a bit and shuffle things up and keep the formats stay diverse. If a metagame is getting unhealthy, you can try and inject new options oh, damn into the metagame to diversify Quit it. trying to join it Septimus. Way. Okay. <laughs> now, yeah, now it's Septimus like, trying to join. Now, now obviously, uh, and and I say that I say obviously with such like a pretentious tone, but um, I do legitimately want to ask. Um, Trevor, you're in the game twice. Yeah, why am I in the game twice? I was gonna say because he's cheating. <laughs> oh, uh, this, you have to know this about Trevor. He cheats all the time. Yeah, I, I see that. One, I think it's my keyboard. Kick that one. The the two thousands and the the late two thousands. I would say more even into the 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 two thousand and tens, if you will. When um, I kicked one. I kicked both. Uh, uh, okay. I Okay, I said an invite to both of you. Um, have have been an era where online gaming, especially multiplayer gaming, has seen a huge boom, especially in the PC market, with the rise of, of you know, games like League of Legends and, and that kind of thing. And one of the biggest problems that a lot of these games have seen, and it's across <laughs> genres, you see it in pretty much any, any game you really think of, uh, and that is uh, Toxicity. Now, mm -hmm. obviously, there you know, we go. People don't want to end up playing in a game where people are, you know, like obviously they're trying to cheat or stalling or manipulating the game in in some really unfair <laughs> and and unfun ways. 
Now, obviously, that's probably not going to be a huge issue in a game where turns are taken simultaneously, and it's a it's yep. a turn based strategy game. It's probably going to be pretty hard to grief, though. I imagine with the Waiting internet, Nina to click ready. with the internet Sorry. being as inventive <laughs> as it is, would you say? Uh, obviously, the risk is there. What kind of measures are you guys taking to ensure that the playing field remains uh, as much as possible troll and or grief free? Oh, well, I'm gonna close like, out a class of crashers. Sorry, real quick, because my controller now is wigging out. You should no, not just try closing your uh, your app for it, your program, and turning it back on. It should be fine. Yeah, I did, and it's I don't know, it's still not working. Let's try this uh, again. You could. What I did actually just a second ago is I joined I joined the game manually on my controller, and then that fixed it. Because if you join it with like the, the mouse and keyboard, sometimes it tries to make you the mouse and keyboard player instead of controller, and that's no good. Ugh. Don't worry, it's an easy it's an easy enough lobby to navigate. You just have to hit the friend search, you'll find them easy. Okay, I have I have a question. Well uh, yeah, to get back to the griefing oh. question. First, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Griefing, let, let's say strategies will have strategies that are um a negative player experience. NP is the term you might hear in other card games. So generally what we would try and do is we would try and make sure that there aren't, say, predominant strategies that are like yes. tier one strategies and NP strategies revolve around stalling your opponent out and making Damn them like it. Head. We'll try not to do that. We'll try to have a, a more an interactive gameplay where it's more fun. You know, you're fighting over stuff. You're obviously kind of battling ships. You're firing at each other. We accidentally and... started without any. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that would happen. I mean, uh... fine. Oops. Just, uh, yeah, and also, like we might also we'll have try and go turn back. timers in the game, too. So, say, like, if you had five-minute turns, then you can't really just say go AFK forever to try and get the guy to leave. Like, that won't be an yeah. option. And okay. um, we even actually recently, we, we added even, like, say, lobbies with things like chat filters and stuff. So, you, you can't, like, troll or swear or, you know, use profanity, that sort of thing. Okay. So, we're, we're working on the game. We have them in mind. One. Okay. I'll, I'll leave too. I'm, game. I'm changing visibility to friends only because I'm dumb. Yes, yes, the friends only search worked for me. That's the one. Okay. Because I, I have a, a huge problem with most online card games. I, I really, I want desperately to like them. But ultimately, it comes Have you about created the game? Money. Yeah, I just did. Oh my god. I sent you an invite, too. Yeah, yeah, I, I just accepted How it. How am I in there twice now? I'll kick one of you, so it'll kick both of you. Yeah, you end up in there twice because I think one's like the controller and one's your mouse and keyboard. It's silly. Now, mm -hmm. Jason, you had the, uh, you had the, a question, too, that you wanted yeah, to yeah. ask. Yeah, yeah. What made you guys decide on. Now, I like the idea of a. a a finite, definite, everyone knows card pool that everyone can use. What made you decide on doing that instead of, you know, buying boosters, etc.? Other than the obvious, you know, pay to win that a lot of games should avoid but do not avoid. All right, Nina, I'm gonna let you jump on, oh on that one. And answer this question. Sorry, I, I was <laughs> fiddling with my uh, controller and trying to figure stuff out. Oh, wait, are you saying you missed the, the question because I tried to give it to you? <laughs> All right. All right, he, ba he basically asked, in a nutshell, he asked, why are we preferring a model where you don't buy booster packs and get random cards? And why are we going with, like, like, a pack where you know what you're getting ahead of time? So, like, you buy an X pack in our game, you know exactly the contents of that pack. Why is that? Uh, okay. Um, and that's because we just really want to make... A, a game we would enjoy and doesn't break everyone's bank and therefore hopefully other people will enjoy because a lot of our game devs of course do play a whole lot of card games uh sebastian especially and his one gripe or one of his gripes with card games was that you know like they are really expensive like mm -hmm. they are just gonna break your bank if you try and buy all of the cards oh god what did i do now what did i do now? <laughs> okay we're back like what did i do um so with the booster packs and being able to see them, you can kind of deck build better that way and be strategic about it as well. Like, oh god, I hope we didn't already do this stage. Oh I think we, we did. did. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh well. Let's hold on. We can exit back the map. No, I don't want to exit game. We've already done that. 
<laughs> All I know is that I'm the red guy now. I wasn't the red guy before. There we go. Abandoned mill. Yeah, that's that's where you were. This oh, is where we were last Back time. in this. Ah, eh, crap. This but I, I like the battle toads. Yeah, I, I definitely got that vibe. But I, I like the idea of not having to like spend a ton of money on boosters and never know. Yeah, there's Anytime actually. I pull a booster. I get garbage. It's that's just the way it is. That's reminiscent of a few card games that are actually a new genre of card game that's risen up in the last few years. Uh, they're called living card games, uh, mm -hmm. where uh, all the packs, boosters, and decks have set contents <laughs> that are viewable at any time, like online and things like that. Yeah. So you you know immediately what you're buying, um, and it's all about how well you can take those cards and arrange them and build your strategy. Uh, there's a Lord of the Rings version of this. There's one that's hugely popular right now and that's growing at an alarming rate called Android Netrunner. Uh, I actually yeah, haven't Netrunner. seen that. It's a fun game. Oh, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? You've heard of it? And, yeah, I played and I mean... Netrunner at Demo Gen Con one time and I was like, this is a cool game. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hella fun. Um, we... And I, I think we can say this because Sebastian said it once, but we... Uh, on a podcast too, but we basically are a living card game. We can't actually say we are because of legal reasons, though, because <laughs> Fantasy Flight has trademarked that. Oh uh, wow, because they yeah, make yeah. most of the living games. card games, don't they? Yeah. Yes. But I, I really, like I, I also love the concept of uh, of setting your deck up, you know, prior to the game. I just, I like. The, I like the game being focused on how you deal with the cards you're dealt and not, oh, I spent $700, so I'm going to win. Yeah. That's definitely more strategy, and I, I appreciate that. And I think I think the players will appreciate that, too. Absolutely. And yeah, Eric wants to know if you're familiar, if you guys are familiar with the Arkham Age. And then he provided a wiki link as if we could click that right now. <laughs> Way to go, Eric. I think that was I'm, more I'm for not people in chat. It. I don't know if Trevor is. So uh, I've never I heard of Arkham I've Age. heard of it, but I don't think I've I'm ever played it. So. Oh, you're on the shark. Oh, yeah. I got yeah, well, I got, I got a log, and I'm happy with my log. I, I got, got a rock. A it's not as cool as a shark. No! Oh, I got a shark. Hey, so now, I'm desperately oh, trying to get back. a shark. Oh, now I have a corpse. That's cool. That is a really big fish. <laughs> An angry fish, too. Come up out the water like a baby <laughs> dolphin. And you know I'm glistening like I'm out the water often. <laughs> well done. Oh, I got the crocodile. I got the log. Get off my log. It's log. It's log. It's big. It's heavy. It's wood. It's log. It's log. It's uh... better than bad. It's good. <laughs> no, my crocodile. No, come back here, crocodile. Asshole. Whoa, uh, that guy I, is rude shooting that arrow. I am getting my taint tickled by uh, these boulders in the water. It's not a good time. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing too well either. I'm getting beat up. Yeah, this is a stage I'm not a fan of. I'm not going to lie to you. Ah, my head. <laughs> oh, it's a might and magic mini game. Draw cards to assault opponent's tower. Build your tower, your wall, etc. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why I recognize it. Because Might and Magic is definitely a, a series I've enjoyed in the past. I'm a big uh, Heroes fan. Hell, I still have my NES cartridge of Might and Magic 1 somewhere. Oh, really? Wow. Yep. Damn. I hate it, but I own it. Um, do you guys have any sort of uh, projected release date? I'm on the back of a minion. I was. It happened. Uh. Yeah, I think okay. if oh, our no. Kickstarter is successful, our projected release date is around ah. summer of next year. Okay. But if it's not, it's just going to take longer. Now, because then we have to find funding some other way. I'm going to confess that I haven't 100% seen everything on the Kickstarter page, like stretch goals and rewards. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Are you guys planning on doing a closed and/or open beta phase? Uh, yeah, definitely. Will I mean for Kickstarters? get yeah, beta access for okay. sure and then at some point we'll probably push it open even further as we go along get when, closer to our next release date follow-up question when can i expect to receive my beta code 
All right, oh, Nina, I don't when, even, when can oh, wait, I do, I do have access. Never mind. I was going to say, I don't even have access yet. And then, oh, wait, yeah, I do. For Jason, forever. For Colton, never. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh take that, nerd. Hey. Suck it. I probably Still deserve that. I've, uh, I've probably done something to earn that. You guys still there? I think we've lost the Skype call. I apologize to everyone in stream. We're going to try to get the call back. Say what? I don't know. We lost. I don't know. I was saying, oh, uh, it was like a fish cat. It has like scales and stuff on the back of we it. Lo we lost the Skype call, but we got it back. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Good. Was it? I gotta ask though. In regards to never, was it something I said? <laughs> no, not really. It's just you, like. Damn. <laughs> Damn. One oh. angry kitty. No, no. It's because you took my freaking shark. Oh. Were you the one who took that, or was that? No, no. I took that your log. Me. I, I had the. I, had I took the your log. Crocodile. I apologize, you guys. This is an emergency. Excuse me for just one moment. No problem. All right, we gotta. Check out that furball. Uh, or at the very least, don't get hit, hit it. by it. Can it to the face? Yeah. I can't. I can't see myself. I'm trapped behind the cat. I'm so I, low on health. I'm I desperately hate this right boss now. fight. Oh god, yeah. I have almost all my points put into strength, and I still barely touch it. Yeah, it's hard to hit this dude. Trevor's almost dead. I know, I'm like one <laughs> hit to death. I'm like hiding from this thing so much. I just get behind it and wail on it. Come on, cannon to the face. Oh, I died, but I got it cannoned. <laughs> I got backflips. I was going for Colton now. Oh no, he's Bye, not Colton. here. Bye, Colton. Bye. He's getting mangled. Just punching him in the Damn, face. Damn, just like repeatedly. Down. <laughs> well, that, was, that was violent. That was like a mugging. That was oh, gangland shit. style. Yeah, I got on the neck up, of the back of the minion. Oh, nice <laughs> <laughs> nope, nope, not happening, I guess. Oh, Colton's dead. Don't worry, I'm here to save the day. All right, guys. Oh. I have sincerest oh. apologies. No, it's all good. You got Sorry, you Colton. got beat down though. You like it pinned you down. down to the log and punched you in the face. Yeah, no, I I definitely believe it. I do want to apologize, by the way. I feel like maybe I've been a bit over the top. No, no. Um, okay. <laughs> it's kind of what people expect from us, Colton. It is, um, and that's definitely Stop the, the truth. Shark. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, no, the shark. Ah. Uh, time. It's up to me and Nita Hopefully to save the don't day. Die here. It's getting kind of hard. It's getting tough. All right, got it. Cannonballs. No, it missed. I knew. Stop missing, you terrible, terrible cannon. I knew a girl like that. Why once. are we even protect on your floor? <laughs> I need to get back on some kind of platform. I knew a girl like that once too. You shouldn't talk about that here. <laughs> hey, look, man. I'm not hey, saying I was proud to know her. I'm just saying I knew her. <laughs> Woo! I got jukes. Are you are you uh, season two of the Jukes of Hazard on Blu-ray and DVD? Only on Blu-ray. <laughs> oh, only on Blu-ray. <laughs> there you go. We almost got it. it. Whale on it. Come on, Nina. Oh God, we. We that, can do that this. Was terrible. Oh, Get God. it harder, Nina. Goodbye, Goodbye cool world. It's gonna, it's shoot, <laughs> stay there. Distract it while I hit it in the belly. Oh no, you got punched. So you survived. Ah, damn it! No, come back, shark. I need you. Well, I don't need I you, but you're nice to have around. Oh, gross. So I'll ask this, and I realize this is a little bit of a general question, but I, I kind of am curious. Whose idea was Gallicolider? Oh, uh, that was 
pretty much Sebastian, who's our lead game designer, creative director, and a lot of other things. President. <laughs> he had a lot of titles. He has many titles, but yes, he came up with the general idea for the game. And then we just worked, obviously, to refine it and get it to the stage and probably get crocodile. it even further along. Yeah. We did it! All right, well, we did it. I was dead and for a while there. We, I mean, me and Nina, we did it. Good job, you two. <laughs> I'm yeah. Mr. Corpse. Yeah, Look me at all too. the XP I got that Colton didn't get. Me and him just kind of, me and me and him just kind of found it in. Like I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Man, I'm the struggles of a level one character here right now. I snail mailed it in from the <laughs> next town over. <laughs> well done. Oh, I get to upgrade some stats. Yes. Okay, let's see. Obviously, what's the difference between strength and damage? No, strength is plus to damage. You yeah, oh. strength is I thought plus they were. Damage. I was reading them as separate categories. I don't no, know. No, they why. are one and the same. I, mm, I didn't really have any powers. I honestly dump most of my stats into strength and health, strength and uh, defense, until <laughs> I have a character that's a good spell. Because like I don't. The blacksmith. What is my spell? What? Green has great spells. Not as cool as the blacksmith and what his it, cool hammer. What is my spell as blue ice? I imagine. It uh, hit uh, R2. I don't think it did anything. I start glowing? I have lightning. Chill. Oh, it's R2 and then you hit either Y or B. Mm -hmm. Oh, these guys look serious. They, they look mad as hell. Hold on, let me bring the yeah, ass whoop. Okay. What's going on? Yeah, I have the big ass frog when I do it. I have an ice spike. And it uses your me. Your Gene Kisaragi, Colton. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel like my other ice car is a Nissan. <laughs> and that joke was really esoteric. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Lady. Uh, way, to, way to go, purple! Dropping the proverbial ball. You know what? I, I I almost wish you had a physical ball so you could drop them both at the same time. <laughs> Colt, you're never gonna get into this beta. I'm just gonna see your name pop up and go, man. No, no. never. Uh, just I thought, with I that thought about dude. it. You get an email back that just says no. Yeah, it just, just says no. Else. It's just the subject line just says no. Nope. <laughs> no, the subject line is no, and inside there's a picture of a sad crying cat in it. And that's it. <laughs> that poor cat, though. I like the frog spell. That's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. Now that it's green, my favorite color it is a top tier so Jason, castle crasher. What interesting question did you come up with for our guests? I've given several questions. You want more? Yes. Oh, well, this is like uh, Pax Prime all over again, being thrown under the bus. Oh, like the oh, like geez. the really big question I had was answered in my other interview when I asked about potential for more factions. But uh, how many Which cards do you guys have. have designed right now? Uh, honestly, we, we have a, a bunch designed like there's a certain set that are obviously in our, our demo game that you played mm -hmm. and then there's a bunch of that we kind of have worked done on but there there are obviously aren't in the game yet so it's like think of it as like a bunch of ideas on the back burner like is there anything you can spoil for us that might be really cool for players like are we gonna anything, have any like know, planet destroyers spoilers. uh planet destroyers i can't really um, say sure because that would be... Yeah, weird. I wouldn't... That'd I wouldn't be a great way yet. to deny someone points. <laughs> Just fuck you and your whole Definitely planet. an interesting idea. Currently, we only have the bombers only do developments, not not planets themselves, mm -hmm. so... Not yet. Jason wants people reason, to... I don't know if the factions would want to bomb the planets. They kind of want them for their resources, you know? They're greedy that way. So I they're know, America. Sometimes... Got it. <laughs> sometimes I just feel like if I can't have it, no one can. Jason, maybe a new faction will jump in with that mentality Jason spent many a year looking for love in Alderaan places uh, ah, you're welcome there we go get it because it's a Eric planet that got blown up yeah. Eric says maybe one day we should stream Space Hulk and that's a negative because I hate that game I reviewed it I did not have fun well then can I can I answer Eric's question for you then absolutely feel free okay Eric maybe one day you should stream these nuts 
<laughs> Got it. There you go. Did it for you, Jason. Excellent. So proud. Well done. Yeah. That is the kind of quality I expect on bottom tier. Intelligent response incoming. <laughs> oh, a board game? Oh, Jesus. No, but actually from watching the footage, I'm really excited to try the game. Um, I, I definitely uh, think you guys are onto a great concept here, and you've it from everything I've seen, it seems to be executed uh, very well. It's now, very unique. Now, obviously, with each faction, this is kind of a question I was thinking about on the, on the way home. Uh, obviously, with each faction, you'll have multiple play styles, and there will be all kinds of cards that'll let you vary those. But does each faction have a general, like, way style? they want to go about winning or, like... Uh, a a focus, style. yeah, yeah. And if so, can yes, you talk uh, us through 100%, what those are? Percent, definitely. Like the coalition you'll find, like right now, is a much more, say, big, bulky, tanky, slow kind of immobile faction that likes to use mechanics that prevent other guys from moving. Whereas the Silith is a little mobile oriented. They tend to be more focused on having higher invasion counts. They move around a lot quicker. They raid sectors. So I think is being better at harassing, but the coalition plays like better. And obviously, as more factions come out, they would have their own unique identities and, Ooh, and ways I need to that apple. that direction. Ooh. Well, yeah, that I mean, that does sound very exciting. I think it's a, definitely a unique card game, and that's that's one thing I've been looking for because I, I love card games, and they just, yeah. after a while, they all kind of feel the same. I know what you mean, and definitely that's exactly what we were looking for. Actually, unique with oh God. A big zoo on the hit, and Jesus. oh my God! Really I think we lost the Skype call again, and I don't know why. Oh, oh, oh wait, it's called didn't screw that. Yeah, we lost the <laughs> Skype call. I got you. I think I think it's back who on. who rezzed me. I did. That was Trevor, I think. You, I Trevor's the coolest. Back. I got you back. I'd have let you die. <laughs> I, I'd have yeah, let me die, I'm too. Yeah, Jason on that. So would, so would my dad. I'm so going to die here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ah! <laughs> no. Though Keith does have a good point. We should definitely stream Maximum Carnage one day. That was a fun game. I like Maximum Carnage. And, it, and the music was done by uh, Green Jelly. Famous for their only one song, The Three Little Pigs. <laughs> Maybe I'm the only person who remembers that song, though, and that's okay. Probably. I don't that's even okay. know what you're talking yeah. about. It was, it was a claymation video in the 90s. I still like that. About the three little pigs. I remember it. Good, good looking out, Colton. I got you. Don't I also worry. really liked Maximum Carnage because it had really cool cameos. Like it had uh, the Identity Crisis filled Moon Knight. And it had, like, uh, Demo Goblin. Oh, no, it's probably one of the better Spider-Man games. Yeah, definitely. I we oh, yeah. talk about Identity Crisis, because that was hot garbage. I, I'm maybe one of only three people that even liked uh, Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems for Super Nintendo. No, no, I loved War of the Gems. We should definitely play that when I come back home next. Absolutely. Well, it's only one player, so, I mean... Yeah, we can take turns. I can make fun of you while you lose. No problem. Yeah. I got you. Par for the course, really. <laughs> that is the bottom tier way. We both just be antagonistic. And so far, it's working pretty well. Yeah. I gotta say. I should say so. Eric, I am what? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I am, but I mean, great. Are you, uh, great. Are you the Eggman? Are you the no, walrus, Goo 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 I think he's the walrus. <laughs> I'm glad we could come to a consensus on whether or not Jason <laughs> is or is not the walrus. I'd, I'd rather be the Eggman. Varying degrees. Uh, though, if I were the walrus, that would make me Paul Heyman, and that's awesome. That's about the highest hey. compliment a man can be paid. Varying degrees of walrus. <laughs> <laughs> I think after this stage, though, it might be about time to wrap this up. Yeah, after this level, it's going to be definitely time for next time on Bottom Tier. We want to thank you guys for joining us for Bottom of the Barrel, our new segment where we interview game developers. It's um, been a lot of fun. We, we find game developers with cool new projects and make them do things that have nothing to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I think it's been a... Uh... <laughs> 
Um, well, next week, I think we're going to make the developers, we're going to make some of the devs from Neverwinter play uh, Chinese checkers. So, <laughs> really? <laughs> no, there not really, go. but. Not we really, but decided it, the game no, yet, but it won't be never winter related. Like, we're we're gonna make them play sh uh, Shoji or something like that. We should make them play Street Fighter Four yeah, or Go. <laughs> yeah, my, my, play my Go, buddy's on Ultra Street Fighter Four. Oh, it's a fun, fun. I could enjoy that. I enjoyed make a thing once. Make them suffer the wrath of Colton's command kicks. Yes. I'm actually uh, not like super duper good. I'm not like pro level, but he's, I, an, he's annoying. But I I can be uh I can be pretty terrifying at Street Fighter. It's one of but the few games in life that I'm good at. It and Guitar Hero are really all I've. However, got. Kyle like, Kyle is the real fighting game pro on the bottom tier shout, team. Shout out to Kyle, our newest. Shout out to Kyle, tier. also <laughs> known as Bushido Brown, the greatest black karate man to ever live. Yes. <laughs> uh, he however could not join us tonight because he is managing people and this is a four player game and we decided he didn't belong no Colton you're dead again well color oh, me no! shocked <laughs> I'm trying to save the save day Nina. I uh, can't get on the same level as it damn it <laughs> we're desperately trying to kill a slime <laughs> It says like Dragon Quest V all over again. God, don't I know it. Oh, that reminds me, I am so hyped for Dragon Quest Heroes. Oh god, it's this boss. I I'll be hyped dead. once I get a PS4. Yeah. yeah. I sure I'm glad I have one of those. <laughs> Why well, I, I may get one for Christmas. You should. Somebody wanna give me CPR? Oh, after me. I'll only slip you the minimum amount of tongue, I promise. <laughs> Unless it's Jason, yeah, well, then I'll boss, slip him all of it. <laughs> yeah, this boss is a big old bag of monkey dicks. I don't know where I got full health from, but yeah, full health. I'm trying, Ooh, intended. I'm trying to drop ah. these ice spikes on him, but it's not working. Get that CPR in there. Unfortunately, I crammed my fist in his mouth. Then wait, if yours was in his mouth, then where did I cram mine? <laughs> you don't want to know. I took a hit. Damn it. However, I do a ton of damage. By a ton, I mean 16. Oh, it's Guano, and it's everywhere. It is definitely everywhere. I do not do a ton of damage, and my spell has terrible range. Yeah, it gets better as you level it up, I believe. Yeah, my spell's pretty lousy right now, too. I don't think level I've hit him once or, with it. Oh, oh. Choking up, oh no. Also, uh, Colton, yes. I think Keith wants to throw down the gauntlet on Street Fighter. I think he's not ready. And no amount of preparedness ah, via preparedness. Tra yeah, via, via, via training or otherwise intervention from professionals could provide him with a level of experience sufficient ah, no. to handle yeah, the ass woman that, that is like forthcoming. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Keith's probably super good at Street Fighter, and I probably he's pretty good. I played him. He's pretty good. I probably don't stand a chance. I wouldn't say all that now. You remember a bottom tier that automatically makes you. And the top 1% of Street Fighter players. That does. Yay, Bat Pet. Oh, the Bat Pet! Yeah! All I have right. the Bat Pet now! Alright, and... Oh, wait, hold on. We gotta get all the treasure real quick. Gotta get all the money! Cool. Did it. Got the money. We did I got it. the most... Damn it! Trevor got the most money. I got the most money! Woo! I got the most I'm ending on, I'm ending on a high note. That's how I work. And I got the most kills. Here, I'll help you end yeah, on a high note. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's a high well note done. for you. All right. And with that note, we are going to uh, take this moment to say thank you to uh, Trevor and to uh, – uh, I'm bad with names. Yeah. Nina. Yep. It's um, been a pleasure. We like to be enjoyed it, having you on. In all seriousness, all joking aside, it has been a huge pleasure. Thank you guys for joining us. I'm super grateful y'all let me be a part of this, even though y'all don't actually know me. You just know Jason. <laughs> <laughs> cool. um, no problem. I'll take your like points. It's enjoyable. I like it. Absolutely. 
Um, thank you very much uh, for joining us. Thank you for telling us all about your game, Gala Collider. Guys, please make sure you go check it out on Kickstarter. Back this thing. It is Looking going up, to be. It's, it's going to be the next big thing as far as mobile and PC based uh, digital card game and strategy games go. You can bet on that. I promise you. Um, and we will absolutely catch you next time on, on bottom, bottom tier. Colton, allocate your damn points. Jesus Christ. How about I allocate this dick in your mouth? Sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't know where that came from. I don't from. think that works. <laughs> <laughs> I, that was aggressive. I don't know where that came from. Yes, you do. All magic. Good to uh, go. All right, guys. It was fun. Next time on Bottom.